Hi, I'm Ellie Wainwright. I'm uh, one of the biodiversity officers for Denbyshire County Council. Our wildflower meadows that we've created in Denbyshire are um, obviously really important for bees and butterflies and pollinators that uh, drink the nectar they produce. Um, but they're also really beneficial for other wildlife as well. In a meadow, uh, you have wildflowers, but you also have lots of native grass species as well. Um, one thing people don't often realise is that uh, the grass species are also really important as a food source. Um, so lots of species, lots of butterfly species will lay their eggs on our native grasses for their caterpillars to eat. One of our most common grass species uh, is a grass called coxfoot. Um, it's got a little spur on it, uh, just like a, a cockerel's foot, that's where it gets its name from. Uh, and this grass species supports uh, nine butterfly species which lay their eggs um, on it so that their caterpillars can eat it. Um, including ringlet, uh, speckled wood, the wool butterfly, um, lots of really great ones. There's similar, similar relationships uh, between wildflowers and, um, and insects that lay their eggs on them as well. So. For example, uh, there's a beautiful flower called cuckoo flower, uh, which comes up in spring. It's a lovely pink flower, um, and the orange tip butterfly almost exclusively lays its eggs on this flower for the caterpillar to eat. So without this flower, you're very unlikely to get an orange tip butterfly in the meadow. But having these wildflower habitats uh, doesn't just um, benefit invertebrates. Um, but by increasing invertebrate numbers, you're going to get more numbers of uh, small birds feeding over the meadows. Um, a common sight in summer is swallows uh, swooping over the meadows feeding. The increase in invertebrates will also support uh, an increase in small mammal species feeding on them. So you'll get more bank foals and hedgehogs. Um, and the increase in uh, all of these species, uh, small mammals and small birds, means an increase in predator species. So you'll get more kestrels feeding over the meadows, you'll get owls, you'll get stoats. Um, uh, invertebrates really form the, the base of the, of the food chain uh, and you need these, these habitats to, to get that.